Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm a pregnancy coach who works with mamas all over the world. I help you go from feeling anxious and overwhelmed to enjoying your pregnancy, preparing for a sacred birth, and giving your baby the beautiful beginning that you're dreaming of. Today I want to talk to you about why you should let go of worrying about what other people think about your birth experience. If you're planning an unassisted birth or a home birth, you may have people telling you that you're crazy or that you're putting your baby in danger or all of the above. And even if you're planning a natural hospital birth, people might tell you things like, you'll never be able to do it or why would you go without the drugs? Because they just can't fathom it. The first thing I want you to remember is that all of those comments are much more about the person who is making them than they are about you or even about your baby's safety. They may think that they're thinking about your safety and your baby's safety, but the reality is, is they're just parroting things that come from their beliefs about pregnancy and birth. They maybe have never stopped. In fact, I would guess that they probably haven't ever stopped to ask themselves, why would they assume that a birth at home would be less safe than a birth at the hospital? Why would they assume that a birth that is medically managed would be better than a natural birth? They probably never question it. Or they had something happen during one of their birth experiences or during one of their kids' births that led them to believe that medical technology saved the day. Now, I don't think that this is a discussion that you need to have with them or even something that you need to propose to them because it may end up creating defensiveness or arguments or bad feelings that may not be worth it to you. But one of the things to consider for you is that even if they're telling you, I would have died if I hadn't been at the hospital or my baby would have died if we hadn't been at the hospital, those are things that you hear, right? But the truth is, is what if those complications would have never happened if you were at the hospital? Dr. Michelle Odent talks about postpartum hemorrhage, which is probably the biggest fear that pregnant mamas have outside of something nebulous happening to their baby. So postpartum hemorrhage is pretty much a universally feared thing. And at least in modern countries with good nutrition, the leading cause of postpartum hemorrhage is people messing with birth. Now, I know messing with birth doesn't sound very technical, but I can guarantee you that there are plenty of research studies that bag this up because there are plenty of research studies that show when you interrupt the hormonal flow of birth, you create risk for mother and baby and excess bleeding in the postpartum period is one of the hallmark signs of a disrupted hormonal flow of labor and birth. Now there are times when medical technology is life-saving just like in all situations in life. There are times in birth when medical technology does save lives and when you do want to transfer to the hospital. And if people want to start out at the hospital, I'm fine with that. As a coach, most of the moms that I've worked with have been planning a hospital birth. But the thing that I want you to realize is not that we're going to get into all the minutia about what can cause complications and what doesn't, at least not right now. What I want you to do is think about how we take this paradigm or this box and flip it on its head. Another thing is, is I've helped with births for over 17 years. I've had eight babies myself, gone through eight pregnancies myself. I've assisted at hundreds of prenatal appointments, dozens of births. I have really been in this and seen the beauty of it. I'm also a historian. That's what my degree's in and that's what I love. And so I've done a lot of research on pregnancy and birth. And this question about is it safe to have a baby at home or safer at home or the hospital was answered decades ago when we actually saw birth move from home to hospital and the hospital was unquestionably the more dangerous place to have your baby and it also completely robbed a mom and a baby of any autonomy or chance to bond or even be conscious in many cases and then as they improved hospital birth and improved safety overall it became safer for moms to have babies and go through pregnancy no matter where they were doing it at. So that question was solved a long time ago but that's still what we come down to. What I want you to remember though is again, all of that is for your own paradigm and for your own thinking because in reality, the people who are being naysayers about your birth probably don't care about all of that. They don't want their perception changed. They have set beliefs. They want to give you those beliefs, which is way more about them than it is about you or your baby. You play with paradigms because that helps you come to a sense of power and authority and decision making in your own experience because you and your baby and your partner, if you're doing this with a partner, matter in this. But
but really nobody else matters very much. Even if they're grandma, even if they're godparents, even if they're auntie, even if they're your doctor or midwife, at the end of the day, you make the decisions. Now, of course, you're going to consult with professionals and you have a collaborative relationship with them. So you guys get to make the decisions together. But what I want you to realize is that this is your place to make decisions, your place to think things through. And you don't have to worry about what anybody else says or thinks or believes. The truth is, is birth is designed to work. We as a species wouldn't be here if that was not the case. Birth is designed to work and it's even designed to be an ecstatic experience for moms and babies. It's meant to be safe and it's meant to leave you feeling good enough to care for your baby, to feel in love with your baby and desire to protect your baby and for you to be physically able to get up and get your baby away from danger should that occur. So the process is meant to be optimal and while I'm all for that sacred fourth trimester where you rest and let other people pamper you, what I want you to realize is that the birth experience is not meant to be something that leaves you and your baby injured. It's meant to be something safe for you. And we've also lowered the standard. I mean, let's let's go back to what I said a few minutes ago, right, Mama? The reality is that they took it so that they knocked women out, cut them open at the bottom, and then dragged babies out with forceps, okay? The bar was lowered into the ground with that kind of experience. And we're just now starting to slowly claw our way back up because of the demands of mothers and some fathers as well as midwives and some doctors who have said, wait a second, we got it wrong here and we're just kind of clawing back from that and trying to get back to some of the autonomy that moms and babies had. And now researchers are having to do research to say, you know what, mother nature or God, the creator, however you look at it, was right after all and maybe we shouldn't mess with it so much but instead offer safety while still giving mom and baby space so again these are all things for you to think about and for you to consider and i know that it's a lot it can feel overwhelming how do you sift through all of this and okay Kristen, you've given me encouragement and helped me think but really how do i deal with it when my mom or my mother-in-law or somebody else is telling me you're being stupid or you're putting your baby in danger or you're being a martyr or girl you're never going to be able to handle the pain how do you handle that in a practical way that's what i love doing i'm a pregnancy coach so i work with you giving you support helping you with all these interpersonal things and also helping you do the research helping you do the soul searching so that you're able to stand firm and feel confident in the decisions that you've made and the preparation that you've done if that level of support sounds good to you i would love to chat with you about what that looks like head over to birthbabylife.com beautiful and let's get on the phone and chat this week